Greetings, everyone. For the last six years, I've made myself available to answer questions to individuals about the immigration process. Again, not legal advice, uh, but experiential advice. And so over the last six years, I have individuals coming to me, emailing, asking, you know, what do I do next? How do I approach this? Um, you know, how do I prepare for the interview and so on and so forth. But that's not just the only question I get asked. Uh, sometimes after people go through the process and they're finished, they still reach out and they tell me about the adjustment period. And I don't think a lot of people talk about the adjustment period. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, to those of you who are going through the sponsorship program, those of uh, process, those of you who have loved ones, wherever. But I always talk about Jamaica because that's where I come from. So you're going through the process of coming to uh, North America or Europe or wherever your partner is that you're being sponsored to go join. And uh, people in the honeymoon phase, just like any relationship, we all go through these honeymoon phases and then reality kicks in. And I think a lot of people are unprepared. Those who are sponsoring the individuals and those who are being sponsored because if especially if your um, your relationship is born out of a long distance one uh, where you just met someone on vacation or you just met someone with a short visit to Jamaica and you kind of hurry up the process to get married a lot of time or times people somehow misunderstand that honeymoon phase for reality and so when individuals come from Jamaica be it a woman or man to join their partner in these parts uh, there is a lot of conflict that goes on in the relationship uh, people get disappointed sometimes people who sponsor individuals to the country are disappointed but also individuals who come here to join their prospective partners they're very disappointed because they were unprepared for the reality of living with someone who you've built a relationship with long distance because uh, when you're just going home to visit you're not spending enough time to really get to see each other's personality or their true qualities and some people my my may I had both those who are coming or those who are here uh, tend to show their best behavior so someone who is gentle and sweet and kind, you know, when they come here, they might not be so sweet and gentle and kind. Or those who come home and when they're on vacation, when they come to see you, you know, they're just so understanding, so patient. But when you start living together, there's so many things you have to do because the moment you're landed, you have to then go out and try to um, get your social insurance number and um, social security number if it's in the states you have to uh, get ready to start looking for work and so on and so forth and sometimes the pressure is on because if the relationship was one-sided where the person who was sponsoring the one from Jamaica was the one who was always financially contributing to that relationship once the individuals come here that person immediately expect you like all other situation really when you leave Jamaica to come to these parts people expect you to come and contribute to paying to the bill paying the bills and you know go on to real living but we talk about um, individuals who you know tell people that they're in love and then when they go to these parts they're not really loved that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about the adjustment period um, some people uh, when they arrive it's culture shock there are different um, foods and um, things that you do tradition or cultural things that you're not used to and so it's a big adjustment and sometimes the folks who are the sponsor uh, they expect the ones who come to these parts to right away get it and it's not possible or sometimes when they go through such a difficult time to bring their spouse here and the spouse comes and is missing home they don't understand it because if you're an American or Canadian or British person you're accustomed to living in your environment everything seems beautiful to you so even though this person lived in Jamaica and didn't have as much opportunity as yourself that does not mean that they're going to be overly excited and all happy to forget about where they come from they have left friends they have left family you know sometimes they leave they have children from previous relationship so they're missing these children are missing their loved ones and oftentimes the sponsor uh, feels 
neglected sometimes the sponsor feels uh, offended that after they've gone through that process the husband or the wife doesn't seem so happy so I'm saying to those who are sponsoring these individuals you have to give them time to adjust there's an adjustment period that is very necessary now the gentleman wrote to me um, yesterday and he said that you know he was with this lady for two years and everything was wonderful and peachy and now that he's here it seemed like their marriage is already falling apart and why is that why is the marriage falling apart he says that when he came here the next day she told him it's his duty to take the dog out to walk the dog and you know give him plastic bags to pick up the dog you know when the dog defecates in the community he has to do that and he says he doesn't even like dogs and so he said, I don't want to do that. And she said he was very ungrateful and that if he doesn't uh, take care of her dog because her dog is like her child, then, um, you know, she's going to have him deported. So he says every morning he's going around and he's picking up the dog poop and he's doing all these things because it's, it's, it is an opportunity and he wasn't really trying to use this lady. But he's saying now he doesn't feel like a man because she's putting you in a position where he has to do as she says or he's going to be sent back home but what makes it even worse he says that when she comes home he thought she was rich because she gave him the impression that she was rich and when he comes she lives in a one bedroom uh, basement apartment which nothing is wrong with that but he's saying he thought she was rich and so she comes he comes to join her they live in a one basement apartment and uh, she's saying that if they want to move from there, then he has to find two jobs. So this thing that's going on between this new couple, you know, suddenly the, the dream life and the fantasy world has ended because what he failed to understand that all that spending was on the credit card. He's telling me now that the, 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 all the debts they have incurred in the last two years, she's saying he's going to have to work to pay them off because she was doing it for him and not the other way around. So there's so much that is involved in the process. And oftentimes people are not really thinking that if we're going to venture down this road, the possibility of troubles popping up, just like any other relationship, is too real. Just the fact that you're coming to a new place that you've never been to. And especially if the individual who's sponsoring you is not giving you a little adjustment period, to say you just came, you don't know how to get around, you, you don't drive, you don't know how to, you know, take the bus to go wherever. They just expect you to figure your way out. That can be very difficult for someone. Uh, the gentleman also said that the night when he landed, she didn't pick him up at the airport. She told him to take a bus and wherever she lived from the airport was about four miles away from the four hours away from the airport so it was really difficult for him and that night he had to sleep with the dog on the same bed as himself and it was stinky it was what he was accustomed to and i don't know how she managed to convince him that she was wealthy and he bought that but now it's pure misery the thing is the message that i would have for people is that be honest with individuals and this is why I said, if you have money to spend to go back and forth and to flourish your partners back home, maybe you should be saving some of that. So when they come here, you can spend it, spend it on each other, you know, and also to remind the Jamaican men uh, that, that the fantasy world, not everybody who lives in the foreign is wealthy and not all of these ladies that you get involved with is going to allow you to come here and have an easy life. Uh, if you want to come and build your life, you know, you have to be determined to work it out. You have to determine to, to adjust, but you have to be realistic about it as well. That was one person. And then the second person, uh, the sponsor, is saying that she regrets bringing him to the country because now that he's here, he keeps talking to his family back home and that he needs to be paying attention to her um, and building their lives together. Now, when I ask her, does he have children? She says, yes, he has children. But now that he's here and they're building their lives together, he has to understand that they have to wait until they get to know each other. And that's the problem. You shouldn't be trying to get to know each other. Obviously, you can't know anybody. Um overnight and it takes time to build and to know somebody 
But uh, if someone has children back home, you can't ask those kids, those individuals to abandon their children just because they're married to you. It doesn't work that way. And so he's saying that um, the kids are black, obviously, because he's a black man and he, his children with a black woman. And she's saying that she doesn't like people who are too dark skinned. Now she's telling him that after he's here. And he's saying, well, I'm dark skinned. She's like, oh, not like you, but like your kids. And I'm not sure who this woman is or what she thinks about herself that she could actually tell a man that about his children and that he's still going to be in love with her or still want to be with her. She's just ridiculous. But uh, there's a lot of women that will go wherever in the world and they have this sense of entitlement and they get involved with these men. And when they bring the men to live with them, sometimes the treatment is harsh. It's so terrible that these men are caught between a rock and a hard place. They want to do good by the person who helped them, but they're being abused in the situation. It is not just women who get abused. Men get abused too, because once they have a hold of that opportunity, they don't want to lose that. And so they're subjected to all kinds of abuse. And some of you women, like the one named Marshmello, to come and ask me, why is it your business? Listen, you probably just want, you're probably just one of those people who wants someone to come and walk your dog. Just like some of your other sisters that tell me this on a regular basis. Oh, let him think he's coming here to have a wonderful life. He's going to find out. He's going to have to get his butt out of the bed and he's going to do this and he's going to do that. He's going to pay for it. All this money I've been sending to him, to him, he's better come here and he's going to work. And when I start, when he comes here, I'm not working anymore. And he's going to have to pay this mortgage all by himself. These are some of the conversations some of these women are having by themselves before you arrive here. And so when you think you're falling into the land of dream and honey, you find out that some of these women are real witches. Uh, some of the men, I've talked about it before, those with ill intention, uh, you deserve it. But there are also men home who get involved with these ladies thinking that they're coming to build. Meantime, these women are saying, you're coming to do this, that, and the other, and you better do it or. So it's two sides of the coin. For the gentleman who is feeling like he's in hell and he's in misery, I really don't know what to say to you. I have to just say, try to work it out. It is five years. If you uh, divorce before that, you could be sent back home. So only you alone can decide how much staying here under that condition is worth to you. Stay blessed, everyone.